Okay, Patrick, here we go. I didn't think of any way I was going to be able to <laughs> explain this, because I never have had to. I never... Anyways, so here we go. This is a, a T-handle that's basically a complete assembly that has everything on it, okay? So we took yours out. You have this area, which is the handle, the T-handle itself. Now, see this part? See that roll pin? That is what holds the whole thing together, but it's kind of invisible. Okay? So what happens here... Let me take this one out. It's already together. Okay? So you wonder how this comes out. Well, you have that collar on yours, so we can't slide it through and come out the other end. See, that's how some of them come out. So what you do, pull that spring back. Okay? Take the tension off. And it comes right out. See that pin? Well, in there, probably can't see it. There's a couple of grooves. But to get this back in now, it won't fit. Okay? You gotta do this. Voila. So once you've assembled this area, which I've sent you the pictures of, you've got the spring has to go on this side. So you put a C-clip, that washer we don't have to worry about right now. Okay? Then you take it out at an angle. That little roll pin can fall out, but to get it in, start with it halfway through. Go like this, and if it pushes through like that, find the sweet spot. You may have to turn you may have to turn this handle because there's only a certain amount of area here where that will go into. Okay. So once again, it's sticking out part way. There's a groove in here. See, it's hitting, so I have to kind of push it with my thumb. And if you have to turn it around to find the spot where it's going to go all the way in, just like that. Okay, so this is the piece you have here, similar to this one, except you don't have a screw on your end. You're going to put the nut, okay? So the, even though this is longer than yours, it's just a longer depth. Yours is about probably this long, okay? But yours has a set of machine screws to where this doesn't screw in like that. It just goes... 90 degrees. So anyways, I hope that helps. Um, the pictures I did send you are in order as to how the things go back together. I don't think I need to do it here because they're all a little bit different, but just keep an eye on uh, this two notches to make the spring tight. It should go here on the end one, your C-clip. Okay, whoops, should go there, okay, then the spring goes there, hold it with your thumb, and put your roll pin in, okay, that's not meant to hold it indefinitely, because once you put this into the handle, okay, then the spring is held, with this, this end. Okay? If you have a tough time getting this out, just wiggle it around. It'll come out. I'm going to take the pin out and show you. So if we were not to have a pin, we stuck it in. You see where the spring rides. Okay? That pin doesn't really hold it. It only holds this into this. Okay? So anyways, I hope that does it for you. And, uh, Appreciate your business. Thanks, Patrick.